So last night, I literally like slept for three hours, woke up, fell asleep for two more hours, then woke up again and fell asleep again. Can someone just put me out of my misery, please? Well, now at least we know why I couldn't make a video yesterday, because I was simply getting sick. And here I was thinking literally like, oh my god, I disappointed my people, man. But it's all good, though. You guys are always supportive, so I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you. Now, I know that we all love free things in Unity. I'm not even gonna say you guys love it. I love it too, let's be honest with ourselves. And you guys showed a lot of support on the previous video where we covered up five different stances in Unity, which were for free. And I decided why not give you guys one more since you seem to be genuinely liking these videos where we share a little bit of resources with each other. So I decided I'm gonna make one more, even though I'm sick or kind of getting sick, I think. I hope not. I mean, come on, dude. Let me rest for a little bit. Now, with that being said, guys, let's get right into the video and check out these free assets in Unity. You don't see me Hello there, fellow free stuff lovers. That sounded so weird. But hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to the channel. And like I said before, we're going to be checking out five more free assets in Unity. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. It's really appreciated. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe so that you stay up to tune for new content and you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Oh, and by the way, before we just begin with the video real quick, uh, thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. It's insane to even say that number verbally. Like, it's crazy to think of it that we have reached the milestone. It's insane. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you want to have like a 40,000 special video or something else being done, uh, perhaps on the Discord server or something like that, let me know in the comments. And now with that being said, let's begin with the first asset of this episode. So number one for our list, guys, here we have an asset pack called Polylized Medi Evil Desert City and of course we're gonna have a blue poly model pack in this video as well you guys love it I love it and the industry literally asks us to make more games with low poly models so why not this pack actually includes surprisingly many assets to be used within your games there are in total 284 different ready-to-use prefabs which is just straight up insane for a free pack I mean I never seen this there are more than 200 different buildings 26 props 18 different terrain which is just incredible. Bunch of trees, a skybox, C, and even a post-processing preset to make sure that everything fits and suits the low poly style of it. I think this one actually takes the record for me personally regarding free assets and content richness. Like, uh, this is just overwhelming at this point. It's not even funny. It's much more than any other free pack that I've seen so far. Now, let's move on to number two at our list, which is called Free Stylized Nature Environment. I actually found this pack quite recently and it looks incredible. I tried implementing it into my own stylized speed level designs I made and it looked really nice with the grasses and trees. Oh, and by the way, this is made by the same creator of, as the previous asset, which is Ink Phantom Studio. So basically with this asset pack, you get an entire demo scene to use, 11 different trees, six types of grass textures, flowers, a mountain for your background, which by the way, looks really good. I checked it out in Unity. Even though it does not include as much stuff as the previous asset that we covered, up, I believe it's still a great addition for your stylized game, so I don't really see a con of using this one. Oh, and for our post-processing preset maniacs out there, I know you guys are there. I know you guys love these presets. I do too. I want to see what the other creators come up with. There are actually two different post-processing presets following up with this one, and one is for spring and one is for autumn, so different kind of seasons, and it, they actually look pretty good in Unity. So if you want to check it out and you want to have a little bit of resource for inspiration when you're actually creating your own presets for post-processing for your own games you can definitely check this one out next up guys for number three we have an asset pack called medieval town exteriors so this one is a little bit different it's a little bit less content but this one is low poly and has really good looking exteriors for medieval towns by the name. Uh, the clue is in obviously the name. This pack contains 46 prefabs in total ranging from houses and barrels to crates and plants. So there are many different kinds of props you can use within this. All missions share the same material texture by the way which comes at 1024 by 1024 texture resolution. 
The pack was even updated in December last year to suit the newest version of Unity, um, or perhaps the newest versions of Unity because there are several, which is awesome to see because you know the, obviously it's a it's a nice addition to have for your medieval inspired game towns. But it's also good to see that it's still supported even though it's a free asset, so it's not a dead asset pack. Like it's still being updated to suit the latest versions. It also comes with a demo scene inside of Unity in the package. So if you want to check it out for a little bit of inspiration regarding you know how you can use the exterior models and how you can kind of like mix up the post processing and all that kind of stuff you can definitely check it out and this is the reason this is the main reason why I like uh, demo scenes even in free assets because you kind of get the get to get to see the asset from the perspective of the developer himself and it's always good to see or herself sorry if I trigger someone <laughs> now let's move on to number four where we have an asset called water effect for low poly which is perhaps my favorite throughout these assets that I include in this episode. Here we basically have a water asset, which in my humble opinion <laughs> is the greatest looking low poly water shader. Like I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit biased and transparent with you guys, but you know, giving a little bit of your personal thoughts and opinions, it doesn't really hurt. Since it's a free asset, it's not even a sellout anymore. <laughs> but basically the effects that you get with this asset are incredibly simple looking and minimal looking, but still they shine. And with this asset, you can also tweak values such as the vase density for your water itself, distortion power, animation time scale, waves color, and even more. This has been also used in a game called Holy Shift. Even saying that name the, the correct way sounded so weird. <laughs> it's not what you think of. I know you guys think of it. Stop. And they simply decided to share this amazing resource for completely free with us. So I, you know, I appreciate it. I think that it looks really, really, really gorgeous. I think it's actually one of the best looking low poly water shaders out there right now. Um, I, I really like the minimal style, like I said before, and it suits really well with any kind of low poly model that you mix it up with. So it, it's gorgeous. Now let's get to the final asset of this video of this episode, which is number five, Photo Real Stones Pack, the demo. So. This pack contains a set of five high detailed and good looking photorealistic stones. There are, these are basically from the photoreal stones pack, the full version, hence the name is also demo for this one, um, which comes at $15 for 48 models instead of five. And these honestly look very beautiful. I'm also a little bit sad that I didn't notice these before making my latest speed level designs because I really wanted to use a few, um, but I will for sure be using them in my next videos because they look cool. It's also fully compatible with world creator uh, has a texture resolution of 2048 by 2048 and all the rocks are also pb already oh and by the way the lod is also supported so and all models actually have three levels of detail so three kind of versions of each model for for the lod system to work correctly and it includes collision for the rocks as well i just realized by the way that i call these rocks but even though the name is literally suggesting me stones and there we go guys we are done for this episode as well so i just want to say thank you so much for all your support and once again thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers it's insane to even think that it's possible to reach this number even though we have reached it it's not even a potential it's something that we are at right now honestly you guys just make these milestones look incredibly easy at this point uh it, which is crazy to think of because it was like you know for for not so long ago it's like oh my god 10,000 subscribers how how are we ever going to reach that number it's almost impossible and then you guys come around and you're like yo fam let me carry your ass so thank you guys very much for all the support it's super appreciated uh like I said, you just make these milestones look really easy. And it's not only about the the YouTube channel, like it's not only about my ego and me myself, like it's about the community, the fact that we are growing, not just me and me and my channel and my stuff like my videos whatever it's our videos it's our community i'm i may be in charge but i'm not seeing myself as the as the owner right I, I it's still a community which is freely based upon people so that's why i'm actually proud of it too so uh, keep it up guys. Thank you so much. And now that we are done with the emotional talk and done with the serious part of the video Let me just plug everything that I have Twitter boys discord 
giveaways. I was gonna cut it short and be like, hey, I'm just kidding. Obviously, it's, you know, I'm humble, but I'm not even kidding anymore. <laughs> like, I'm not even humble. No, but in all seriousness, guys, once again, thank you so much for the support, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you do enjoy your time, and hope you do enjoy your future time in the channel and in the community as well. Obviously, we're growing every day, so uh, it's very important for me to hear what you guys like and what you guys dislike. So if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments or in Discord, but especially in comments because I want the comments section to be a little bit populated as well. <laughs> it's important, obviously, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like as well. Like I said, it really supports the videos a lot and it makes it obvious for me to see what kind of content you guys would like to see more of. So if you like free assets, drop a like and I'll make more of these. Also, if you're new around here, first and foremost, welcome. And if you want to stay up to tune for a new content like this, we upload level designs, tutorials, free assets, you know, make giveaways and such stuff like that. So if you want to stay up to tune and don't miss out on these new videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification, I guess, it's called or yeah notification thing the bell icon <laughs> uh something like that so you just turn that on and you'll get notified whenever we upload and with that being said guys once again thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the comments or in the discord server see you guys bye bye have a good night Keep on